Welcome to the Literacy Camp, 7th grade, week 21. This week we're going to learn about the radius, diameter, circumference, and area of a circle. You need to remember everything in this slide. It is very, very important. The radius is half the diameter. The diameter, the radius, is the radius multiplied by 2. The circumference is 3.14 multiplied by the diameter. And the area is 3.14 multiplied by the radius to the second power. An example of this would be 30 times 30, not 30 times 2, which is a common mistake, but it'll make your answer wrong every time. So be careful to remember that the area is calculated as 3.14 multiplied by the radius to the second power. So the radius, the diameter, circumference, and area of a circle can all be calculated using this formula. And we're going to use this formula. And let me go over this formula so you'll know what it is. So you'll use 3.14, as described in the previous slide, for pi. And so everywhere that you see pi, you know that that represents 3.14. The area can be calculated by using pi times r to the second power, and the r stands for the radius. The circumference, the c stands for circumference, can be calculated by using pi times the diameter, which is the d. So let's do that. So here in this circle, uh, the information that is given is the radius, which is 13 inches. Well, we know that the diameter is the radius is half the di the I'm sorry the radius is half of the diameter. So the diameter we know automatically is 26 inches. Okay, so in order to get our diameter, we uh, multiply 13 times 2 equals 26. So the diameter is 26. In order to get our circumference, which is next, we multiply 3.14 times 26 equals 81.64. So the circumference is 81.64 because we use this formula. We use these formulas over here in order to get these answers. 13 times 13, which is the radius to the second power, is 169. And 3.14 times 169 equals 530.66. So the area of this first circle here is 530.66. So that is how we got the diameter, circumference, and area. Let's do another one. Here the given information is not the radius, instead it's the diameter, which is 40 inches. So 40 divided by 2, because we know that the radius is half of the diameter, is 20. So 20 is the radius for this circle. 3.14 times 40, which is our diameter, is 125.6. So the circumference for this circle is 125.6. Then in order to get our area, we are going to multiply 40 times 40, which is 40 to the second power, gives us 1600. And 3.14 times 1600 is 5024. So the area for this circle is 5024. I hope I made that simple for you. I hope you have a great week. Please don't forget to subscribe and give me any comments or requests that you'd like to see videos of. Have a great week.